Every athlete has that one big thing that they want to accomplish at some point in their career. It's that thing that will rack your nerves and get in your head. But it's also that feeling that pushes every athlete and challenges them to step up to the next level. Everyone has a choice. They can stay back and follow, or they can lead and start a new progression of their sport. On June 13, 2007, Logan Grayling accomplished that thing for himself. Upper Johnson's Falls is uh, it's at the very top of Johnson's Canyon. It's a 100 foot vertical waterfall from top to bottom and uh, right at the lip it comes through this like two foot wide chute which makes it even more intimidating. So you just sort of go right down the middle. And uh, I was born 20 minutes from Johnson's Canyon so I mean it's definitely right in my backyard and I've been wanting to run this for the last two years. And finally got the courage and the balls this year to get it done. These falls have only been paddled once before by Teo Berman in 1999. He set a record that day for highest vertical free fall in a kayak at 98 feet 4 inches. The spring runoff was higher for Logan and we measured his water at 100 feet 2 inches. Yeah, it was more for me than for anything and I don't really feel like I beat Teo or he beat me or I think it's just stoked that two people have run it now and one of them's a local. And that's important to you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have such good resources for all mountain sports in the Bow Valley. I don't see why more people don't take it, take up different sports, not just kayaking, snowboarding, skiing, climbing. I mean, we've got it all right here. Uh, actually, when I wanted to run it two years ago, I was 17 and didn't quite know if I was ready for it with my paddling. And then I decided, all right, I'll get it done next year. And I was actually away for most of the spring runoff here. I was over in Norway, so I missed the water. And this year it ended up perfect. Came home from a trip and the water was there and guys were around ready to do it and had had the safety guys I needed. Logan's drop was uh, pretty incredible. It was scary. And uh, yeah, I'm happy for him. You were there to save him though. I was there, I was the savior. <laughs> so once my safety crew was ready, uh, the camera guys were also ready, they were waiting. And from the time I got the thumbs up from the guys at the bottom, it took me probably about three minutes to get in my boat and slide off the edge and into the current and over the falls. So? Check out the bomb. <laughs> nice. Battle scars. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. A little bit of, little bit of knuckle action. What'd you think, guys? Did you get to see it? Yes, we did. Yeah, Fantastic. Did you like it? Amazing. Amazing. Did he entertain you? My word, did he? Brighten the life out of me. That was what I was coming to see. Sort of bounced off the wall and just remember tucking up and then just feeling this my head and my shoulder hit the other wall and then just super soft landing, popped up, rolled up and paddled away. Hocked it, sort of hit the wall on the left side, but turned out pretty good. Could have went way worse, so I'm stoked on it. And that's why you <laughs> get black eyes? Yeah. <laughs> it's not from fighting, I swear. I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. <laughs>